Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Ms. Megan, do you have a microphone? Yes, yes, I do, Ms. Shen. <laughs> Ms. Megan, how many children do you have up there behind that door? We have a lot of kids that are ready to perform for you tonight. Excellent. Ooh, All right, we can have everyone's attention. We'd love to get the program started. Thank you. One more question, Ms. Megan. What are we here to do tonight? Ms. Jen, we are here to honor Railroad Construction Company and thank, yes, 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 they deserve it. To honor Railroad Construction Company and thank all of our guests for the continued support of Oasis. And hopefully raise a lot of money. Yes, Malia, <laughs> and hopefully raise a lot of money. Mommy needs to keep her job. <laughs> so. Kids, what would you like to say to our guests tonight? Thank you! Thank you on behalf of the after school program. We hope you enjoy your evening. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, kids. We'll see more of you in a couple of minutes. Have a good night. Good evening, and welcome to Oasis's 27th Gala of Hope. I'm Jen Brady, the executive director, and I'm joined on stage by Sue Buchanan, our board president. The next few hours are among the most important moments for the women and children who turn to Oasis for help and hope. That's because your presence here tonight and the gifts that you give will mean that our operations will continue for the next year and we will continue to fuel our work. We'd like to begin our evening by saying grace and I'm pleased to welcome Father Stephen Fichter, the pastor of St. Elizabeth's of Hungary. Thank you, Jen, for this invitation to be with all of you tonight. I think this might be the quietest moment that we'll have all night because it's gonna be a really a lot of fun and a lot of great graces coming through everyone that's here tonight. And I'm honored to lead us in grace and also to share a very a special surprise at the end of this grace. I have to say Oasis has always had a very special place in my heart, um, as does RCC. Uh, when I first met RCC, I thought it stood for Roman Catholic Church, um, but then I found out it really stands for Railroad Construction Company. Um, but not only to me personally, but to all of us at St. Elizabeth's Parish, and I know there's a lot of our parishioners that are here tonight but when I first arrived to the parish about seven years ago, uh, my first meeting was actually with Al D'Aloisio and Diane Ulrich, our two trustees, and they told me all about uh, the parish and all of the different organizations that we help out, and they mentioned Oasis in first place. So, Al, thank you for introducing me to RCC and to Oasis, and I think we should give Al a round of applause. He's always been such a wonderful, wonderful person. So let us pray, and I invite all of us now to, to close our eyes, to bow our heads, to place ourselves in the presence of God. And if you feel so inclined and you want to hold hands with the person next to you at the table, feel free to do so. Dear and gracious God, we thank you for bringing all of us together tonight to support the amazing people at Oasis who do your work for countless women and their children. May you bless each and every one of these women and their children with your joy and deep peace. May you guide the staff and all the volunteers at Oasis and everyone here tonight who will generously donate to the cause. May you also bless everyone 
who right now is preparing our food and serving the food that we're about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the surprise. It's a wonderful surprise. And for it, I need a red hat because red is the color of RCC. I got my red sweater on, my red socks, and now I have my red hat that I'm going to wear. And now I know some of you may not like this. It's, uh, it's a red Bergen Catholic hat. Go, go Bergen. And where's Father Abe? Where's Father Abe? I don't know if he's here somewhere. Father Abe, uh, I'll get you one in case you're, you, you want one. I'll get you one for you. Uh, but it is my great privilege to kick off this evening with a $100,000 donation from Bergen Catholic High School. $100,000. On behalf of the president of Bergen Catholic, Dr. Mahoney, I have the joy of announcing that Bergen Catholic is offering a four-year full-ride scholarship to an OASIS student. So let's begin this evening. Thank you, everyone. Wow, thank you, Father Stephen. Talk about making a difference. We would not be here tonight without all of your support and the support of our sponsors. We thank each of you, and especially our event sponsors, Railroad Construction Company, RCC Builders and Developers, and the Taylor family. I wanna thank our board, I thank our board of directors and the staff at Oasis who work tirelessly to help the women and children rise out of poverty. Tonight, we will celebrate our honoree and dear friend, Railroad Construction Company. RCC has literally built Oasis from the ground up and they've done it with joy and love, setting an example of philanthropy in action, making a difference in Patterson and well beyond. This year, Oasis lost a champion of our work. Our co-founder, Ann Wagner. Tonight, let us all raise a glass We honor Anne's memory and the love she poured into this very special organization, OASIS. To Anne. What Anne and Chris started as a small soup kitchen in a rented church today serves 1,000 women and children daily with life-changing adult education programs, social services, hot meals, and after-school programs. We know we can change the life of a mother and in turn, change the life of their children through education and through addressing basic needs concurrently. This is the formula for success and it works at Oasis because everything we do is infused with love and compassion. We also know that each and every wom woman who walks through the doors at Oasis has a story. And I can tell you that I can think of no better way to share our work with you than from the words of one of our Oasis moms. We now invite you to watch the story of Cynthia and Antonio. I honestly, I don't even know how I got through that particular segment, but it was hard. I wasn't feeling well, I went to the doctor and I was told I had a cyst that had to be removed immediately. So as I'm going into the hospital for this appointment, 
I was told that I was actually two months pregnant. I did have five miscarriages prior to Antonio being born, so I was nervous. I wasn't sure if he would survive, and my pregnancy was very hard. And I thought once Antonio was born that maybe his father will change a little bit of his ways and, you know, mature a little bit, and it just didn't happen that way. He was verbally abusive, physically abusive at times. He didn't give me the support I needed as a father to be able to raise his son. Once he started getting older and like after me and his father broken up, he started developing a lot of issues. He didn't know how to talk. So if he's hurting, I don't know if his stomach hurting or you know, if he broke something, I won't know. He just points. And I had to quit my job, a career that I really, really, really worked hard to get to focus on Antonio, to get him the help and the support he needed. He was always just doing things that wasn't safe sometimes, just had me on edge all the time. And I found out he was diagnosed with uh, ADHD. And later on, maybe a year later, I found out he had autism spectrum disorder. It was just a lot, going back to different therapists and having people evaluate him, or him going to daycare and getting kicked out of daycares. He got kicked out of three daycares before he was even four years old in the same summer. It was very hard, I can't even lie. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say it was easy. I had a nervous breakdown in front of a mental health clinic trying to get my son help because he got kicked off the bus for fighting. I was depressed. That's the best word to use, there's no other word. I can't even say sad, it's an understatement. Depressed, lost, hopeless. I honestly, I don't even know how I got through that particular segment but it was hard. That's when the new journey began, when I found Oasis. The first day I came to Oasis, I walked into all these women just like welcoming me, asking me like different questions, but not bad questions, like asking me about my life, like how do I feel today or what's motivating me, what's my goals and all this stuff. And it was like, hmm, this is different. It was like a breath of fresh air. It was a safe zone for us. It was a no judgment zone. They didn't judge us on nothing. We are family. Oasis to me means a safe haven. It means stability, comfort, love, happiness. Antonio is thriving. That's the only word I can say. My, my baby is thriving. Antonio is a part of everything that Oasis has to offer, and I'm grateful. Even though he has disabilities, you can't even tell. He's just like one of the regular kids. It helps me to feel bold about myself because of all the motivation I got. I end up calling back my old job, and I end up getting my job back, and it's been wonderful. I can't even complain, and I'm just grateful for everything they have done for me and my son because I don't think he'd be where he's at if he wasn't a part of Oasis. And honestly, I don't think I'd be where I'm at if I didn't come to Oasis. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause as Cynthia takes the stage. Thank you all, and good evening to everyone that's here. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here with you all. I just want to say thank you for listening to my story. Oasis has changed my life. You have given me the tools I need, and you have given me hope. 
Being a part of the Oasis After School Academy has changed my son's life. It's my pleasure to introduce the children of the Michael Wagner's After School Program. Everybody give them a round of applause. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> We're so excited to have you here this evening with us. As our colleagues are walking in, the children are walking in and getting into position. I give. We're so excited to be here tonight. We've been working so hard for this evening. Give them another round of applause. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning. I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out a warning. I'd ring out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. If I had a song, I'd sing it in the morning. I'd sing it in the evening, all over this land. I'll sing out danger, I'll sing out a warning. I'll sing out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning. I'd hammer out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning. I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'll ring out danger, I'd ring out a warning. I'd ring out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. If I had a song, I'd sing it in the morning. I'd sing it in the evening, all over this land. I'll sing out danger, I'll sing out a warning. I'll sing out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. This land is your land, 
and this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, to the Redwood Forest and the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. So I got a hammer and I got a bell and I got a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. It's the song about the love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. All over this land. Yes, give him a round of applause. <laughs> wave. Wave, wave to the audience, guys. Wave. Good job. All right, guys, come sit. Wow. I think that's deserving of one more huge round of applause. Thank you all so much. Good evening. My name is Scott Jones, and I'm honored to be your fundraising host for the evening. Excited to be here with Oasis and be a part of this monumentous occasion. And I think we also should take this time to put our hands together for Cynthia, who shared her courageous journey with us. And Cynthia, thank you so much for your bravery. You truly embody what Oasis means. And friends, I want to share a little bit with you tonight that Oasis is a safe haven that is committed to changing the lives of women and children. Its mission is clear. It has the power to inform. It can uncover truths of human conditions. But it also has the power to transform. And I believe you all gathered here tonight to bear witness to a grand transformation, just like Cynthia and her family. Now, as a community, you've agreed to come together to help secure a brighter, future for so many others and also to help us break this cycle of poverty through the act of giving. The need is permanent, so now must be our support. I share with you tonight, fear is contagious, but so is hope. And tonight we have the power to change a story from one of fear to one of hope, one of trust, one of resilience. I invite you all now to be a part of this grand transformation, to support OASIS and its continued holistic mission to provide compassionate support to mothers and children in this community. And I want you to know this. When you make a gift tonight, it's more than a monetary donation. It is a gift of the light and the darkness. As Cynthia said, it is a gift that can change the trajectory of a life forever. And it is a gift of hope. So I now I would like to invite each of you. Very shortly, you're going to get a text message sent to your phones. So I would invite each of you to get your phones out, please, right now. And you can see on the screen here, we've got a wonderful start for tonight. But we want you all to participate. We've got a very, very aggressive goal tonight, but I believe we can do it. And in that text message, you're going to see a donate button. You just click on that link, and you're going to go to the donate button. And for some reason, you did not get the link. You can text OASIS Gala 
all lowercase or uppercase, it's not case sensitive, to 76278. So if you didn't get the link, it's okay. You can get it by texting to 76278 Oasis Gala. Now, once you're there, you'll see a dedicated giving levels already made for you. 10,000, 5,000, 2,500, 1,000. Our goal is that you find a level that you're comfortable with tonight. And as you give, we're going to see these gifts come in. And as these gifts come in, like this right here, our children, our fundraising cheerleaders are going to go crazy. That's the right show us, cheerleaders. That's right. So, so as the numbers come up, you will encourage the celebration and the cheers from our children, but you'll also be supporting this wonderful mission. And just know tonight that your gifts, your gifts impact so many lives. Child care while mothers work, education, GED preparation, computer training, hot meals. Over 83,000 meals were served last year from Oasis. Let's celebrate that, 83,000 meals. Look at the gifts, come in friends. You see our goal, $300,000. It only happens with you pushing that link. Friends, any matter, any gift, look at it, it's still going up, $57,000 now. Let's put our hands together, kids. Let's see how quickly we can get to the $80,000, the $100,000 mark. But again, friends, you're encouraged to go to your phones, any size gift, friends, whether it's a dollar, whether it's $25, whether it's $25,000. You can use that other button, every dollar. We want to celebrate. We're almost at the 80000 kids. We're getting there. That's... There it is. We're getting close. Please continue to make those donations. You hear them. They're cheering for you. Let's get those gifts in, friends. Let's make a difference tonight. You have a chance tonight to be that light in the darkness. You have that chance to provide hope. Cynthia mentioned hope. You provided her hope in a judgment-free environment. Look at there, friends. Whoa! Wow, kids! Uh-oh. Here comes a familiar face. Hello, Rich. Welcome to the stage. Hi, guys. Remember me? Scott's doing a great job. 116,000. And I, I got these new hearing aids. And uh, this message came flowing through to my hearing aids. It's amazing how that happens. That... There's a match that's been put up. If we get to $150,000, there's a match for $150,000. I, I think we need some help. And um, where are we going here? 120, we're, we're really, really close. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm not as good as Scott is at doing this, so I'm going to hand the I'm going to hand it back to Scott. But we need to get from 120. We need we need thirty thousand dollars, and um, we need twenty five thousand dollars. Scott, take it over. Thank you so much, Fritz. Thank you for a wonderful announcement. One hundred fifty thousand. Here we go, kids. Let's do it, kids. Let's do it. We're almost there, friends. We're only $13,000 away. Look at all of the donors. Thank you. Love, 142,000, friends. $8,000 away. Let's do it. It's going to happen tonight. That's right. Thank you. Look at all the donors, friends. We're almost there. Less than $6,000. It takes one gift. One transformational. Here's a chance for you to leave your legacy behind tonight. Here's a chance. We're going to make it. 
I am confident. Our kids are confident, right? Let's go, kids. Let's take it over the line. One more round of applause. Let's get them there. There it goes, friends. Let's see it happen. So close. We're there. We're almost there. It only takes a few of you. Who's going to be that angel? There it is! There it is! Wow! Congratulations, Oasis! Amazing! You did it! Wow. Friends, I, wanted, and I just want to say thank you myself. I know everyone at Oasis. I know all the kids. Thank you so very much for your generosity tonight. And I just want you to know this. We do not have to stop giving because we reached $300,000. If you want to give, you have all night long. Find that number that's comfortable for you. Something that maybe is weighing on your heart or in your mind, whatever it is. We are going to celebrate together as an entire group of all the gifts that have come in and that will come in later tonight. Let's put our hands together and let's thank everybody in the room for being hero and heroines in the room tonight. It's still rising. Okay, thank you so much, Oasis. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to be done now and bring my friends back up to the stage. Number kids. You guys did a great job. Look what we accomplished. You guys are awesome. Have a safe trip back to Patterson, and we will see you on Monday. All right, if we can have your attention one more moment for the reason we are here tonight. Thank you. Railroad Construction Company has been a partner to Oasis since the very beginning, guiding our work, 
constructing our home in 2008, then expanding our building in 2020 so we could serve more women and children. RCC kept us operational during the pandemic with volunteers coming down every single day despite the lockdown. RCC has continued to respond to the needs of OASIS so that we can serve the women and children most in need and most vulnerable in Patterson. We cannot imagine where we would be without Railroad Construction Company, a company that sets an example of caring and encourages their co-workers to help others. Their red trucks are always on the way where help is needed. I ask you to please look at the screens and join us in watching this video. Patterson at one time was one of the most vibrant cities in the country. And uh, as industry left Patterson, so did prosperity. If it weren't for organizations like Oasis, so many people would be lost. Anybody that gives to Oasis can rest assured that it's going right to help the people that need it. Giving back is in Railroad Construction's mission statement. It's part of the culture at Railroad. It's an organization that not only says really great things, but they do the really great things that they say. Any community knows that um, if they need help, Railroad is always there. It's almost like here comes the cavalry. I mean, you get equipment, you get trucks, you get the manpower here or the personnel here from Railroad. It's not just one or two people, it's everybody. We talk about giving back and charity a lot here at Railroad Construction Company. And Oasis was one of the first charities I heard about that we do a lot of work with and volunteer our time and our resources. Railroad Construction Company realized from the beginning that operating out of the annex of a church wasn't going to be sustainable. They helped us from the very beginning of identifying a piece of property to the planning, to the fundraising, and to the actual construction of the building. I don't know if we would have a home or be where we are right now if it wasn't for railroad construction. We recently put the addition on the building and all the coworkers have benefited from that involvement. Initially, my feeling was it was just another job. Within minutes of just walking around and, and seeing everything, I knew it was more than that. Oasis provides the resources not only to feed someone, but also to help a woman and her child grow and become more than just someone in poverty. And that's what I love about Oasis is they're not only giving a helping hand out, they're giving a helping hand up, and they're providing these women with educational resources and also children with programs that they can excel in and evolve in. They could be on one path and then, you know, they go through the OASIS program and then all of a sudden they're off to college. I mean, that just completely changed someone's life. You know, that's something they do daily. Once people go to OASIS, see the work that they're doing, they just want to get involved. Railroad is a model of philanthropy in that they bring everyone to the table, including their staff, and they tell other people, and it just becomes a larger and larger group of people that are aware of us. Our sponsoring them and volunteering truly gives them the sense of, of hope, looking forward to a, a brighter future. I volunteered at Oasis for women functions. I actually got my family involved too, so we went there to serve my two kids and my wife, which was fun. The women have come up to me and says, thank you so much for your help, and thank you for what you do, and we're like, it's our pleasure. Getting to talk to some of the people that were there, it was just a, really just an incredible experience. If I could give something, multiply that by others, and the good is overwhelmingly substantial. Thousands of little small steps and little small contributions mean a big, big difference. And the more we can do, the better the community will be, the better the city of Patterson will be, and the better the world will be if we can do that. We are so grateful to have the opportunity to finally honor railroad construction for all they've done, not just for Oasis but for the women, children, and families in Patterson and for all the other nonprofits that we partner with. Thank you, Railroad Construction, for being our honoree and for all you do.
I'd like to ask all the co-workers of railroad construction to please stand. Thank you all. It's a very special evening. It's truly our honor that Oasis staff and board has chosen to recognize the coworkers of railroad construction. All of you that are wearing red, our HR director, Stacy Juris, is at table 47. You all can apply for a job. We've had the good fortune to have many coworkers volunteer over the years. And I know I'll get into trouble because literally every person that just stood has volunteered at Oasis and has done something. I'm gonna take a minute and recognize a few. If coworkers like Carl, who drops everything including the work he's supposed to be doing, <laughs> and appears day or night or weekends to make a repair or solve a problem or give some advice. Others like Mark regularly puts in two or three extra hours of work when he's on a project for Oasis and goes the extra mile of building benches, and garden racks for the Oasis rooftop garden out of his own home carpenter's shop. <laughs> or Gary, who cuts tiles on his own time to put the Oasis name in the entranceway of Mill Street. Or Anthony and Angelo, who work extra hours to finish a job expecting nothing in return and not recording those hours on their timesheets for any overtime. It was mentioned how our team helped stock shelves and helped to package up food during COVID. But many of you in this room supplied the food that we desperately needed to be able to keep that going. All of you helped as well. If you had seen the line outside the doors and the people, some of them who had volunteered at Oasis before for the first time needing food for their families, you would realize that that's thanks enough to see their faces and to see their smiles. The helping at galas and helping at the events golf outings. The team members behind me have done all of that. They've chaired the events, they've run the events, they've participated. But so have literally dozens and dozens and dozens of our coworkers over the years. Our mission statement, one of the items in it is to share our resources to benefit others. And I am so proud of our coworkers because they live and breathe it every day. From day one, we've been inspired by the Oasis founders, Ann Wagner and Chris Bright. They saw a need and had the can-do attitude to begin the mission of feeding, clothing, and educating women and children on the streets of Patterson. How could Railroad not follow the examples 
of others like the Trinellis and Buchanan families, the McLaughlin family, the Taylor family, Duffy's, Pashes, Sullivan's, Bisgo's, the De La Rosa's, Hernandez, Fleming's, Pfeiffer's. There are so many that I can't possibly do justice in mentioning them all. But the one thing that I can do and we do is we thank Oasis staff, starting with Jen Brady, the strongest executive director Oasis has ever had. She shares her talent for leading with a loving, caring heart that goes out to not only clients, but staff as well. What an incredible team she has built. And I know I'll screw it up when I start mentioning names. So, Leticia, Paul, Jim, Jenny, Evelyn, Anthony, Joanne, Megan, Andrea, Edgar, Thelma, Teresa, Don, Gladys, Lena, Maria, Marilinda, Wanda, there are so many who truly love the clients and provide a safe and nurturing atmosphere. When Oasis sees a need, they add a program to fulfill that need. Their success is measured by the lives they touch and the difference they make while providing a future filled with endless possibilities. It's only through your support, your contributions, your volunteerism, that Oasis is able to do what they do. But I do want to just take a second to thank the Oasis staff for everything that they do. Thank you. May God continue to bless Oasis, the board, staff, clients, and all of you here tonight. We thank you very much for your donations, for your volunteerism, and for your support. May God bless each and every one of you and your families, and we thank you for this incredible honor. Thank you. All right, all right, let's give RCC another huge round of applause. Thank you so very much to Al and all of his team. Now it is time for the live auction. Who's ready to raise some money? I'll ask you one more time. Who's ready to raise some more money? That's right, I need you all to do me a favor right now. I need you to look at the person to your left or right that you did not come with. Really quick, look at the person to your left or right you did not come with. You're going to repeat after me. Here we go. You have my permission to spend as much as you'd like. There it is. No matter how much you bid, you cannot get in trouble. And we're going to get right into our live auction. Bobby D up on stage here tonight is going to read those to you. Bobby, what's our first 
Live auction All item. Right, Scott, our first auction item up here is Market Basket Party 420. Invite your guests and let the professionals at the Market Basket do the rest. This promises to be a special night for your 20 guests. Plan your cocktail party menu with the Market Basket's finest chefs and staff. This includes filet mignon, baby lamb chops, and Market Basket's famous shrimp and more. Scott, let's raise some money. Here it is. It's for 20, a party at Market Basket. Let's get to better going at 2,500. And 25, better get 25. And 25, better get 2,500. Put your hands in the air. At 25, better get 35. At 25, better get 35. 35, 35, better get 3,500. 35, better get 45. And 45. And 45, better get 45. You're both out. And 45, better get 45. I'm at 35. 45, better get 45. 4,500, now 55, and 55, and 55, but you get 55, yes, and 55, but you get 55, 55 to your right, Bobby, and 65, and 65, but you get 65, 65, now 75, and 75, but you get 75, 75, now 85, and 85, but you get 85, now 95, and whoa, 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 time out. I only have one rule tonight. If you do not have your hands in the air, put them together for those that do. We're going to raise more money the more you applaud. I'm at 85 with you, Bobby. 85 with you. And 95. And 85, but you get 95. <clears throat> 95. 1,005. 10,000. And Tim, you get 10. And Tim, you get 10,000 where? And Tim, you get 10. And Tim, you get. The more you pay, the more you'll like it. And Tim, you get 10,000. And 95, but you get 10,000. Get the second one, Bobby. And 95, but you get 10,000. Are we done? I'm at 9,500 in the back of the room. What do you get 10,000 where? Last call. 9,500. Sorry about that, a little technical difficulty. Microphone died. I'm at 95. Last call, are you sure? I'm 95, but you get 95. Sold your way, Santi, sold, sold. $9,500. Asking. Friends, back up better. We are so grateful for all of the donors here tonight. Since that did so well, they've offered an opportunity to sell a second one. We could raise. $19,000. Anybody else at $9,500, raise your hand right now for this same beautiful package. Anyone else? All right, let's put our hands together. Thank you to our winning bidder. Thank you. Thank you. Chick, 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 chick. If you want an item, one of our representatives is going to come to your table. Make sure we secure that gift. Bobby, our next light. We need another mic. Here you go. We're looking for a second microphone. Oh my gosh, give Market Basket a big round of applause for that. That's fantastic. All right, Scott, the best has just showed up. Look at this. Now this right here, my friends, is a choose your own adventure. Royal Belize Private Island for 10. That's right, for 10 people, five night, all inclusive on a super exclusive Royal Belize private island. Five luxury suites, a bunkhouse with six beds, boat transfers, includes local alcohol, gourmet chef prepared meals, a personal concierge, water sports equipment, and so much more. But wait, you have another choice. Now maybe you want something a little cliffside. We have a luxury Costa Rican villa for 14. 14. That's right, 14 people, seven nights stay, 14 guests, luxury villa in Costa Rica, Playa Hermosa, seven master bedrooms, a personal chef will prepare the food you purchase, daily housekeeping is included, sailboat cruise, barbecue lunch, and so much more. Scott, let's sell an island. Heard it is, you heard him. Belize for 10 or a mansion in the city, I mean the mountain for 
14. Here we go at 20,000 where? At 20, but he get 25. At 25, but he get 30. No, 30,000. At 25, but he get 30. At 25, but he get 30,000. Let's go. At 25, but he get 30,000 where? At 25, but he get 30. I'm with him at 25, but he get 30,000. At 25, but he get 30,000. At 25, but he get 30,000. Your choice. 30,000, now 35. Why are we not applauding? We just raised $30,000. And 35, but you get 35,000. 30,000 your way. And 35, 35,000 right here. And 35, but you get 40,000. And 35, but you get 40. You're out, Tammy. And 35, but you get 40. And 35, but you get 40,000. And 35, but you get 40. 40,000. No, no, no. 40,000 over here. And 45, and 45, and 45, but you get 45. Do it, do it, do it, and 45. I'll tell you when you pay too much. 45, and 45, 45,000! Now 50, and 45, but you get 50, yes! And 55, and 55, but you get 55, and 55, and 55, and 55, but you get 55. I'll tell you what to do. 55. I'm at 50,000. Would he get 55? And 50, would he get 55? And 50, would he get 55,000? And 50, would he get 55,000? 55,000! Now 60. And 55, would he get 60? And 55, would he get $60,000? And 55, would he get 60,000? Are we done? 55, would he get $60,000? Going once. Hold on, please. 60,000! 60,000! All right, well, Scott's working his magic. 60! You, you want to do it, Al? You got to in? Now they're going to pick from the island of Costa Rica. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We came to raise money tonight. You get your choice. You're going to Belize or Costa Rica. $60,000. We're going to sell a second one. We're going to sell a second one for $60,000. We just raised $120,000. Wow, give those bidders a big round of applause. Holy cow, that's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Scott Jones right there. Are we, are, should we go to the next item, Aaron? All right, go to the next item. All right, where's all my country music fans out there? If you're a country girl, I want you to say yeehaw. Yeehaw, all right, here it is. Two tickets to the Country Music Awards. You get to enjoy country's biggest night at the CMAs. Two tickets to the 2025 show at the 300 level. Three day, two nights stay at the esteemed Renaissance Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. VIP treatment, white glove concierge. Scott, let's send somebody to the CMA. You heard it. CMAs at the best. At 5,000, what do you get? 6,000. And 5, what do you get? What do you get? 7,000. And 7, what do you get? 7,000. And 75, what do you get? 8,000. And 8,000. 85. 85, what do you get? 9,000. 9,000, what do you get? 95. 10,000. 10,000. 11. A 10, what do you get? 11,000. A 10, what do you get? 11,000. 12. 11, 12. 11, 12, what do you get? 12. A 10, what do you get? 11, 12. 11, 12, what do you get? 12. 10, 11, what do you get? 12. 11, what do you get? 12. A 10, what do you get? 11,000. 11, what do you get? 11,000. Two tickets to the CMAs. There it is. I'm at 10,000 looking for 11,000. 11, 12. 11, 12, but you get 12. 11, 12, but you get 12,000. 12,000. 12,000. And 13. And 13. You're out, Bobby. And 30, but you get 13. You're out. 13. 13. And 30, but you get 13. Out 14. And 40, but you get 14. And 13, 14. And 40, but you get 14. And 30, but you get 14,000. And 14. Here's the deal. You bid 14, he bid 15. The place goes crazy. And 30, but you get 14. And for 14. And 15. Put your hands together. We're raising money. At 15, Bobby. And 50, but you get 15. And 50, but you get 15. Get the second one. And 50, but you get 15. I'm 50, but you get 15. 14, 15. Last call. I'm at 14,000. Looking for 15,000. Anywhere else, 
Last call, going once. 15,000! You owned it that long. I tell you what, you're going to the CMAs, Bobby, $15,000. But wait a minute, we're sending her to the CMAs as well. Another $15,000. There we go, $30,000 to the CMAs. Wow. It's fun watching others give money. Put, keep applauding. Remember, keep applauding. The more money we raise, oh the more God. applause. What's next, Bobby? All right, coming up next, we have the brick house for 100 people. How many? 100 people. Talk wow. about a big party. Now, are you looking to indulge your guests with breathtaking food and elegant ambiance? Special location, there's no place better than the brick house. Now, our friend, Chef Aldo, is a 1851 Federal Greek Revival farmhouse. We're going to meet modern menu with fine steaks and chops and seafood. This is for 100 people, either a special occasion, maybe a birthday, or a corporate event. Scott, sell the brick house. There it is. People. You got to next year. Let's get a bidding going. 5,000 and five, but get 6,000. Where? And five, but get 6,000. And five, but get 6,000. And five, but get $6,000. Where? And five, but get 6,000. And five, but get 6,000. That's for 100 people. Do the math. That's $60 a person. And five, but get 6,000. And five, but get $6,000. Where? And five, but get how about 5,500? I'm 55. I tell you what, let's get the bidding started. Three thousand dollars. Where? Three thousand. Three. We're gonna get 35. And three thousand. We're gonna get three thousand dollars. Three thousand. Now 35. 35. Four thousand. You're out, Santi. And third. We're gonna get four thousand. Thank you for your help. And 35. We're You're in. 35. And 35. We're gonna get four thousand. 3,500. 4,000 where? Wow. What a bargain here. And 35. We're gonna get four thousand. And third. <laughs> All right, 45, Bobby, you're out, 55, and 45, you're out, 55, and 55, but you get 55, and 55, but you get 5,500, and 55, put your hands together, we're raising money, 55, now 65, now 75, and 75, now 85, 95, and 85, but you get 95, and 85, but you, you're both out, 85, but you get 95, 85, you, look at me, look at me, I'll tell you what to do. 85, 85, but you get 95, 85, 95, 10,000, now 11, and tell me to give 11,000, and tell me to give 11,000, 11,000, now 12, 11, 12, 12,000, now 13, I 12, but you get 13, you're out, Bobby, and 12, but you get 13, and 12, but you get 13, you're still smiling, it's okay, and 12, but you get 13,000. It's just as much fun at 13 as it is 11. I 12 to get 13. I 12 to get 13,000. And 12 to get 13. Going once, we're going to sell it. I 12 to get 13. 13,000. Now 14. And 14. Now 15, Bobby. And 40 to get 15. And 40 to get 15,000. And 15, ma'am. It's your turn. 15,000. And 15. 15,000. It's just as good at 15 as it was at 13. It's bet yes, you should do it. It's for the kids. Fifteen thousand dollars. Now sixteen. And fifty would get sixteen. And for you started this mess. And fifty would get sixteen. And fifty would get sixteen thousand. No, no, no. And fifty would get sixteen. Sixteen thousand. Now seventeen. And seventy would get seventeen. Just look at me. That's all that matters. And sixteen would get seventeen. And sixteen seventy. Don't be bullied. And 16, but he gets 17. 16, 70, but he gets 17. Last call. And 16, but he gets 17. Going once, 17,000. Let's, 17,000. 20,000. And we're going to get 20. And 20, but he gets 20,000. Let's do it. $20,000. Now 22. And 22. And 22. And 20, but he gets 22. And 20, but he gets 22. And 20, but thank you for what you did. Let's give them both a big round of applause. So, 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 thank you, Rich. $20,000. All 
All right. Let's head back to the stage. We got our next. We've only got a few left. I'm getting my exercise tonight, Scott. We're everywhere. Um, do we have any Swifties in the house tonight? Wait a minute. Where's my Swifty fans? Let's hear it. So our next auction item up, look at this. Look at this. A signed Taylor Swift acoustic guitar right there, signed with authenticity, with the hologram. Scott, this is a rare gem for any devoted Swifty, any fan of music. This is a piece of history. That's right. She didn't play it. If she did, we'd have to add a couple zeros on it. But a 14-time Grammy Award winner, let's sell it right now. Who get 3,000 for it? And three, but get three. And three, three, but get three, but get three. And 3,000, now 4,000. And three, but get four. And 4,000, 5,000. And four, but get five. And four, no, five, no, five, but get five, thousand. 5,000, 5,000, and 6,000, and 5 would get 6,000, now 7,000, and 6 would get 7,000, and 6 would get 7,000, and 6 would get 7, it's the only one in the room tonight having 6,000, would get 7,000, and 6 would get 7, and 6,000 would get 7,000. Are we done? Taylor Swift, signed album, yes, yes, and 6 would get 7,000, and 6 would get 7,000. Now 8,000, and somebody give 8,000, 8,000, now 9, 9,000, now 10, and now I'm going to get 10,000. I have 9,000, I'm looking for 10,000, 10, now 11, and then we get 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, to get 12, 11, 12, to get 12,000, 11 to 12, 11, 12, to get 12,000, are we done? 11 to get 12,000, 11, 12, 11, 12, 12, 12, to get 12. Twelve thousand dollars. It's only a thousand more. I twelve to get twelve. I love to get twelve thousand. Go ahead, once. Get the second one, Bobby. I twelve to get twelve thousand. Get it. I love anybody else. Last call. Eleven. Would he get twelve thousand? You guys put your hands together and help me say my favorite four-letter word. Sold. Hey, we're going to sell the second one to the back of bidder. That's another $11,000. All right. We're raising money. Here we go. We'll ship it right to you. We're going to our friends. Put your hands together. You all raised a ton of money tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. We're so excited and honored to be here with you tonight. We're going to have a great night. Thank you so much, Rich.